let's get into it. It is Sunday, Sunday, January 16th, 2022, 2 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Y'all know I give you the real, raw, and uncut <laughs> with my Uranus and Scorpio. Let's just go over it while I get myself together really quick. The planets and the nodes. The nodes can be really confusing, but the nodes are actually the most important thing because the houses are the most important thing in the zodiac, in astrology, next to the planets and signs, of course. So really quick, we all should know about the signs. You know, we should all know their characteristics. The houses represents the characteristics purposes, our purposes in life. The nodes go along with the moon. And the moon is the reason that there are houses and uh, nodes. The nodes are a big deal because they switch this Tuesday. Right after we have a full moon in Cancer. So I'm going to do the weekly really quick. I'm going to do the... Uh, nodes that I've been promising y'all for months really quick because they're about to change and then I'll probably do a, a, a part two of the nodes after they change so we can compare the energies okay shout out to my Clark family who um, I had church with last night and y'all know I'm not religious spiritual and you know a lot of spiritual people uh, there's two different kinds of spirit pe spiritual people and I'm sorry I'm going all over the place But I'm just trying to give an introduction as my car warms up um, There's two different kinds of spiritual people in this world There's those who feel the Holy Spirit as far as religion is concerned and then there are those that you know spirituality is energies, which is why I'm bouncing back to the north and south node because Astrology is energies what is above so below y'all have heard me say this for the year or more uh, that I've had this channel. Hopefully y'all can hear me over my loud, uh, what you call it, engine. But I'm still not stable yet, but I believe I'm getting ready to get stable because the North Node is going into Taurus and Taurus is all about stability. What we value, getting grounded, security. And because the nodes were in Sagittarius and Gemini for the last 18 months and I'm gonna let you know when they started too as I get myself together this is pretty good <laughs> doing this in two months time two minutes three minutes time um I have noticed that because I was traveling to find where I wanted to get my stability and become stable it was off because the south node was in Sagittarius. What does all this mean? It means that our energies are about to make a huge shift, especially with the moon being full in Cancer and the moon is ruled by Cancer, especially because Cancer is the opposition sign of Capricorn and Capricorn, um, we have Pluto in Capricorn right now. We have the sun in Capricorn right now. It's still like the last few days of Capricorn season. We have Venus in retrograde in Capricorn right now. Mercury's in retrograde in Aquarius, but it's going to come back into Capricorn by next week. So we have a lot of Capricorn energies leading up to this Pluto and Capricorn. One thing I'm going to say before I um, end this introduction to this message, two things. The planets represent the characteristics of the signs and the houses too, okay? The planets, Jupiter and Mercury have been running the show through the nodes in Gemini and Sagittarius. Jupiter has to do with our luck, travel, beliefs, and Mercury has to do with the information and intellect and knowledge that we receive in life. I definitely am going to tie that into what's been going on. If, if, if you can even fathom what I'm going with that, where I'm going with that information, I just gave you that short little piece. Um, the planets... Venus ruled Taurus as well as Libra, but Venus uh, is ruled, Taurus is ruled by Venus, and Pluto and Mars rule Scorpio. So when the node switched this Thursday, we're going to get that relationship, uh, finances, beauty, what we value from Venus energy coming in, and Venus is in retrograde 
from the North Node being in Taurus, we're going to get that energy from Venus heavily. Our values are changing. Just a little bit about that. Then the Scorpio energy coming from the most powerful planets, Mars and Pluto. Pluto, let me tie this in real quick too. Pluto was not even discovered when America was discovered, okay? Nobody knew about Pluto until about the early 1900s, I believe. And America was discovered as we all know, not discovered, um, the constitution was created, the government was created, which is what Capricorn represents, authority, government, um, how we are seen in life, our reputations and reality. So Pluto was um, not discovered until later. However, the energies were still up there. Just because we didn't discover it as human beings didn't mean that the energies weren't up there. <laughs> Therefore, this is very important with Pluto and Mars controlling the south node. Mars is the action we take, impulsivity, leadership. Um, that's a little bit on Mars. And then Pluto is transformation, rebirth, death. Um, and death, and both represent war too, okay? So we're talking about some ser and secrets and the depth of things. Pluto is the furthest planet out. That's why it was discovered last. So it was Neptune. Anyway, the nodes are being controlled by Venus on the north node side. The north node represents where the direction that of energy that the whole planet will be going into, okay? And then Pluto and Mars represent the south node, which is where Scorpio is being. All this is happening in two days, y'all. Try to stay with me. I know my Mercury and Sagittarius does not get the message across sometimes well, but I am working on that because there's positive and negatives in everything. Positive and negatives in every planet, positive and negatives in every house, positive and negatives in every zodiac sign, okay? Um... I feel like I want to also tell y'all that astrology and astronomy are two different things and horoscopes. Horoscopes are predictions and interpretations. Astrologies are energy from the planets and above. Astronomy is the study of the planets and stars and what they uh, like the gases and all that disorder, the scientific part. Astronomy, uh, astrology ties in science and um, astrology ties in science and math and religion all together. That's the difference. Um, where else was I going, y'all? This is a long introduction. Wherever else I was going, um, I'll tell. Oh, that's where I was going. I have really had a lot of Tauruses lately affecting my lives, positive and negatively. Um, a shout out to all Tauruses. That is my opposition sign. So we attract. <laughs> I'm feeling this because the, t the nodes are getting ready to switch into uh, Taurus. So we are going towards the Taurus energy. We're going towards the, the higher Taurus energies, not the negative ones, the positive ones. Okay. So what I wanted to say was one Taurus that I spoke to, shout out to Erica, <laughs> um, who also opened her home to me when I was living in California when the nodes are in Capricorn and Cancer. I'm going to tie all this into the nodes thing really quick. She made me realize, you know, even though um, these energies are very real and astrology is very real, to those who don't believe in astrology, um, it's okay. You'll be calling me soon. <laughs> as soon as you see these energies and what I'm talking about is, is real to you and you've interpreted in your own way. But she was saying, you know, whether Mercury's in retrograde, Venus is in retrograde, Pluto's getting ready to return and all that. The way you you react to these energies is important. I've been having a great Mercury retrograde, actually. We're in the third day of Mercury retrograde, and I have been definitely um, using this energy well. Mercury retrograde, really quick, is the... Um, the miscommunication, arguments, accidents, all those kind of things. And it's an Aquarius, which represents social groups and individuality and uniqueness. So long story short, I took that as what, what, what she said. And she's always teaching me a lot of things. Again, shout out to Erica. We both went to Duke Gallatin School of the Arts. And now she's a Californian of uh, two decades now. And a mother of three. Shout out to Erica. Love you, sis. But, uh, yeah, use these energies wisely. Don't think negative and negative won't happen. I stayed positive and had a great weekend.
So I'm gonna wrap this up. It's 10 minutes in. I'm going to post this and then look forward to my other two um, videos coming out about the North Node and the South Node switching and the weekly energies coming in this week between uh, January to date again. We're gonna uh, start on Monday, January the 17th to January the 24th. Is that right? 17, 17, yep, yeah, 24. <laughs> All right, y'all. Thanks for tuning in. Get a life astrology with TMZ, teaching everyone abundantly empowerment is a key and enlightening every day. Thank you for listening to my car astrology. <laughs>